So this is a follow-up video to the drop test that I did earlier. Some people were doubting um, that this was a real fire steel because it um, is so strong. When you drop it, it doesn't break. Some people were afraid that I had maybe um, switched it with a, with a piece of real steel that doesn't break. Um, I want to assure you that I did not do that. So I wanted to make a follow-up video and um, do the demonstration again to show you guys how it works and show you that it is a real fire steel, a real firefly, and a real just regular fire steel. So this is, again, a regular fire steel that you would find in a sporting goods store. You can tell just by looking that it is lower quality than the firefly. So let's get started. Pull out my knife here. This is my everyday carry Swiss Army knife and the one-handed trekker. I really like it. It's a good knife um, and it works actually really well for lefties. I'm a lefty. You can, you can open and close it one-handed. I really like this knife. So I'll be using this one. Um, I'm going to use the back of the saw blade because it's got a nice sharp edge on it. And I'll just show you that this is a real fire steel. This is a firefly. You can see the big sparks that it throws. Now in comparison, let's try the just regular fire steel. Look at those puny little sparks. And it's, it's harder to spark. It's actually, if you look at the back of the blade, it actually dents the edge. And you can't do this for long without the, de the edge getting dented and then your sparks actually start getting smaller. See there? Sparking in the same spot. And the edge has gotten dented. So, um, let me do an another demonstration here. We'll just put it right here. Scrape, scrape off some pieces. I could practically light the porch on fire with the firefly. So in comparison, again, let's try the regular fire steel. We'll start somewhere else on a different spot on the blade. You, can, you cannot do that easily with a regular fire steel. Once again, the firefly. Works very well. And look at this. Super easy to spark. Easy to get big sparks, big long lasting sparks with this firefly. Demonstrate this one one more time. You can get sparks. Um, not as easily though. So, oh, let's do the drop test. So, we'll start with the um, regular fire steel here. Start it up here, and we'll drop it. And it broke in half. As you can see, it's a weaker, I actually cut myself there with the saw. Um, it's a weaker lower quality fire steel, which is typical of what you find. Now let's do a drop test of the firefly. It's just fine. And it's actually even thinner than when we started a little bit. Um, you can tell with the sparking that we did, didn't use very much of it. There's a lot left in there. Let's do some more drop tests. On end, throw it up in the air. You can see that it's very, very strong, high quality. Let's go ahead and test it out on some grass. I should have done this before I broke the regular one. So here's a little handful of grass I just picked out of the field. And 
one of my favorite ways to do this is actually to take the knife and put the blade, the saw blade, right on the grass to where it catches the sparks. And we'll take the firefly here and give it a strike. Here we go. Works super well. And let's go ahead and try this with another bundle of grass. And we'll use this other piece of fire steel here. And we'll try the same thing. See how it goes. not working. The sparks don't last long enough and they're not big enough to get a good fire going. There we go, finally. Okay, hope you guys liked the uh, follow-up video here and hopefully that helps you guys who are uh, doubting uh, we are an honest company, and we're, we aren't trying to deceive anybody. We want you to know that the Firefly is a very high-quality fire steel, and I think you guys are going to love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.